Hi, I'm Russ Mitchell and welcome to Eye to Eye. Katie is off today. U.S. astronauts began a spacewalk today to make repairs to the shuttle Atlantis. But computer problems on board the International Space Station are still a question mark. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood gives us the latest on the shuttle mission. On any other shuttle flight, this heat shield repair would get quite a bit of attention. But, but the bottom line is the engineers don't view it as a life or death situation. It's more a case of trying to prevent some damage to the shuttle during reentry that would have to be fixed later. Now, the astronauts have done a nice job with the repair. It looks exactly like they expected, and I don't think anybody anticipates any trouble. The astronauts and cosmonauts aren't in any direct danger because of this computer malfunction. It's more a question of the long-term health and survival of the space station itself. They've got to be able to keep it oriented properly to get the right amount of electricity and keep temperature within constraints, or else they've got big problems, and sooner or later you wouldn't be able to keep a crew up there. This computer malfunction is one of the biggest threats the station's had to endure yet. It's a major question mark right now how long you can operate the space station without these computers. Russian engineers and NASA managers are confident they can operate it for some short period of time, or that they can make it all the way until a rescue ship could carry supplies and spare parts. That's another question. If the Russians succeed in getting any of these computers back operational over the short term, they won't be out of the woods. They've still got to understand what caused the problem in the first place and make sure it doesn't happen again.